Hey y'all, Jim Pankey here with a fun Flat and Scruggs tune till the end of the world rolls around. And I wanted to do this one. It, it has a lick that I do that Earl does later in his career that I like to throw into this tune. And it's, I think of, it's basically a, a backwards roll, but it's kind of a backwards forward kind of thing. And it, it's, it's how I kick it off. And then we're also going to use the D-tuners, if you have them, and then I'll show you a way to do it without the D-tuners. You ready? Let's do it. Hey, before we dive into this thing, if this is the kind of content that you like and you look forward to it, maybe leave a, a like and maybe a comment. And if you want to help the channel grow and you haven't subscribed yet, I know a lot of you haven't, let's hold up, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notifications, uh, Ring that bell. All right, let's look at this song. Let's look at this right hand pattern, which is the sole purpose of me showing you this. I just, I want you to get comfortable with it because it, 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 it's fun and it's, for me, it's a little addictive. So let's look at that pattern. Two, five, one, two, five, two, one. That's the pattern. You can start it with a slide from on the second string from four to five, or you can hammer that. I do it both ways. It's just whatever feels good in the moment. Both of those work, so you can do that with a hammer, and it's gonna be hammer. Five, one, two, five, two, one. And you're gonna put your pinky down at the seventh fret. All, of, all that is, is five, you're going to hammer that note, five, and then one, which is that same G note again. So we get a lot of G's ringing, but that sounds really cool over the C chord. So that lick really slowly, which is kind of the main theme here. So there's a lot of G's going on, but that's part of the magic. So one more time. And now let's look at the next phrase. It's going to start at the fifth fret, and we're going to slide all the way to 10. So it's just on the second string from five to 10, and then one, and then you're Pinky down, five, two, one, five. So that sounds like pinky, pinky up. And now we're gonna hammer from nine to 10 on the second string and it's a forward roll. So two, one, five, two, one, five. And that gets us right up to our detuning part. So let's look at everything we've done so far really slowly so you can stop right there you can hit your fifth string sometimes i stop sometimes i hit the fifth it's totally up to you now you're going to hit your first string open and we're going to use our detuners, and I like to go ahead and be grabbing it and tuning it down. So, just like that. And then back to one. And then a slide. Forward roll. Three, two, one, five. Three, five. Does it again. Sometimes I will go ahead when I'm hitting hitting that one. I go ahead and tune that down and pull up to it, so it sounds like. All right, 
so and then this time we'll go down and up all right now we now we need our ending so let's look at that so so seven or five to seven and then you're going to hammer from four to five on the second string just and then the first fret second string you're holding a c chord five one and then three and then three open so that's thumb index and then two to four and then fourth string open so that sounds like clear as mark, right? <laughs> All right. So let, let's go. Let's go through the whole thing really slow, and then then I'm going to show you an idea of what you could do if you don't have D tuners. You need some D tuners, but you know, some of us don't have them. All right. So let's go. Let's go slowly. Let's look at a variation for that bit where I use the D-tuners. If you don't have D-tuners, it's going to be super simple, but super effective. And, you know, sometimes I do this instead of grabbing a tuner because, you know, variation is a good thing. So let's look at it. So hit your first string. Now you're going to slide on the third string from two to four. You hit your first string. So that's what we do for our detuner part. And then three, two, one, five with the slide. Three, five. So that sounds like. And that gives you a, an option for that little bit of the song where, where I use the detuners. But you know, detun detuners are a lot of fun. So. Maybe put that on your wish list if you don't have them. All right. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you real soon.